Niels, uh, welcome here. Niels Home, uh, Regime University Medical Center, uh, PI of the uh, Favor 3 study. Happy to have you here at the PCR 23. Uh, we've been working together for a long time. We are now working on the last, last stretch. And more than 80, 50, it's now 1852 patients included enrolled for the study. Um, so, can you say something about what is the next, what do you expect now in the coming month? Pushing every side to really continue to enroll, of course, and get the 2,000 patients done as quickly as possible. Yes, yeah, so thank you very much, and uh, thanks for the kind invitation to be here today. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's been a long awaited study, and we now uh, need another 148 patients before we can finalize enrollment. Uh, still, we are in the final phase. We hope to finalize before September 1st this year, and uh, that should make uh, us able to present the primary outcome in the autumn of uh, 2024. And there are already, of course, uh, many patients who have a one year follow up mm. and because the, the study runs already for quite some time, but you need to wait until uh, maybe one year follow up of the last patient or maybe 85% of the cases. Uh, what is statistically, what, what are your expectations there, or is that too early to say? Yeah, so we, we need to go with the, the full uh, one year follow up um, per the yeah. study design. Uh, on the other hand, then we get the strength with, uh, with the pre plan design. So if we truly have a non inferior uh, uh, result for QFR, then it's a really, really strong result. Uh, proving that QFR is uh, having an equal with, uh, with FFR. So, um, unfortunately, we need to wait for these results. But on the other hand, if we show non-inferiority, it's it's a really good and strong message. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that is what we have been waiting for all these years, to really show uh, the non-inferiority. Uh, results to be uh, awaited, of course. <laughs> we don't know what it will be. Out of all the statistics has been, have been done, but I think we are all very confident that, that we will be able to show the inferiority. Yeah, you, you cannot read anything so <laughs> just yet, but uh, yes, hopefully, um, and, and again, the experience that we have had with QFR before embarking on the Favor 3 trial has been very positive. So through uh, all the previous uh, Favor studies, the Wi-Fi studies and all, the studies made by other investigators across the globe, the QFR, really indicates that this is an application uh, that has a major potential. And this was also why we embarked on the Favor Free trial. We found that this technology was mature enough to go into uh, uh, large-scale clinical testing. So we are quite confident. We need to see the results, but we are quite confident that uh, uh, at the end we will have a, a, a good and strong result. Yeah, and of course, with uh, the paper three. The users are still using our previous version 2.0, uh, which makes it also sometimes a little bit more elaborate for the uh, size to enroll patients. And of course, we continue to have further improvements, uh, automation. We're happy to show you the version 2.2 that we are now launching with, with more automation and that continues uh, so that also once we have the uh, non inferiority, we will have a lot more automation also and make it. A lot simpler to be used in daily clinical practice. Yeah, so there's no doubt that this continuous development and uh, optimization of this application is important. Um, so if we can show that it works already in a, in a quite early version, then with subsequent versions and automation, it would be much easier to integrate in the cath lab for regular clinical work. So of course, we're looking forward to that. And, and of course, uh, it would be nice next year to have a late breaking clinical uh, trial and a presentation, whatever it will be, ESC or TCT, uh, together with the publication that is also nowadays, of course, uh, favored. We have the, the presentation plus the publication at the same time. So still a lot of work to be done uh, for you with all the statistical analysis and checking quality of all the data and so on. So yeah, and hard work, hard work for you also is still uh, uh, yeah, so but again, when you have a, a topic that is of paramount interest and a very promising application that could really change uh, the way diagnostics is performed, up formed in cath labs across the group, then it's a strongly a strong motivator for you know completing such a trial 
as soon as possible in a high quality and have simultaneous publication of uh, the results uh, at the time of presentation. Sure, yeah. Well, we certainly, we still have to wait a little bit, but we have uh, anxiously, anxiously <laughs> looking forward to the results. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, and uh, we'll be in touch. We'll be in touch. And, uh, looking forward to the last uh, stretch. Looks Certainly like a, the marathon, eh? it's a <laughs> life, uh, the last kilometer or so. Indeed. Yeah. Indeed. Thank you very much, Sales. Yeah, thank you.